Oh, telling funny stories, that is what I do. Don't ask me where I get them, don't ask me if they're true. My stories are exciting, my stories have suspense, but some are just plain silly and don't make any sense. Ah, I know it's me, I'm sure it's me. Who could it be but Uncle D? It's me for you and you for me. I'm Uncle Dobi, yes sir. This is the story of Hananya Yom Tov Lipa Katznell and Bogenstein, the most unhappy kid that you have ever seen. Everything seemed to go wrong for him, always in reverse. He would say, I hope things get better, because they can't get much worse. I'm the dumbest kid in the universe. In yeshiva, he wanted to make friends. He really did try, but he would say the wrong thing because he was so shy. What, what, would you like to be my fruit? Uh, uh, my French? My French fry? Go away, we go, get out of here. Hananya Yontovlipa Katznell and Bogenstein was always late for school, which made him feel even more like a fool. Knock, knock! Eh? Hey, who's there? Gurch! Couch! Couch who? Gurch, you please let me back into class, Rebby? <laughs> Down. It was bad enough that he always came late. But in Chumash, he just couldn't get the answer straight. Catch Nellan Bogenstein. Who picked up a stick and split the water in the Red Sea? Rebbe, I, I promise it wasn't me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the kids in the class never chose Lipa into any sport. They would say, Go away, Lipa! You're too short! <laughs> I can punch the ball, Simcha. Please give me a try. Oh, sure. Last time you punched yourself in the eye. <laughs> that was the strongest boy in the class. Simcha Stark. When he punched the ball, it would fly out of the pond. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a blast from Simcha Stark. He just hit another one out of the park. I am Simcha Stark, best kid in the park. I make up the rules for the kids at school. school, Lipa felt pretty lowly as he walked home very slowly and he said, I, I guess I'll never amount to much. I make a mess out of everything I touch. Each day things just keep getting worse. I'm the dumbest kid in the universe. As Hananya Lipa's hopes were just about sunk, and he sat there crying on an old tree trunk, he suddenly heard a creaky noise and racket. He wiped his tears with the sleeve of his jacket. Suddenly, he saw that coming in his direction 
was an old man with a gigantic yarmulke collection. Thousands and thousands of yarmulkes piled in a wagon so old and decrepit that he could hardly push it. He could barely schlep it. And above the old wagon was a bright red yarmulke-shaped umbrella. And the old man said, What's wrong, young fella? Well, who, who are you? And what are all these yarmulke caps? And this wagon? It looks like it's going to collapse.